Hello, my church friends. It is Wednesday, which means this is our time for our midweek update. I want to give you just a glowing and great report about Sunday, our first week back together in worship in the building. Though we were distanced physically, our, our hearts and our voices were joined in praise to God, and we opened God's Word together, and, and there was community, even though there was distance, there was fellowship and just an appreciation by all that we were able to worship together in this building in a way that was just, I believe, so honoring to God and so fulfilling for those of us who've been missing it for so long now. And we look forward to a great week, too, and hope you get to be part of it with us this coming Sunday. I would also ask that you just uh, pray for us as we continue to move forward, not knowing exactly what that looks like each step of the way. It was great today to have our prayer team back in the building praying this morning, and I know they are praying that we will just have the wisdom to know how and when to move forward on getting the church back functional in terms of things that really help us to grow as disciples or followers of Jesus. I want you to know that we've had a very good response thanks to you to our online giving and to our regular giving. That is back up to a good level, and we thank you for that. Now, the staff wants to thank you. We did not have to take the uh, purposed decrease in our salaries because the, uh, the funds have gone back up, and we appreciate that very much. Now, can I ask that you would join us um, as we as a staff, as leaders, and as a church. We continue to pray for our society and for the challenges we're facing. That there would be a breaking down of the barriers that we are experiencing. Uh, racial barriers, political barriers, all kinds of things that divide us. Also, that we would just be leaders in the way of how we honor those who lead and protect us well. Would you pray that there would be appropriate responses in our society to those who choose to do harm and we just pray that God would bless us with his peace a peace that allows for there to be the addressing of real issues and real hearts and the need that people ultimately have and that is the need uh, for Jesus we are salt we are the light so let's lead out and how we respond to this craziness in such a way that people would see our good deeds and glorify our father in heaven now again, I can't wait to see you on Sunday, and I hope you choose to come and be with us as we worship God together and finish up our series on Salt and Light. Look forward to seeing you then.